My name is Anne Davidson. I've lived in Malawi for many, many years, and I'd like to introduce you to my co-workers, Elizabeth Chigamba and Luciano. With, without them, I wouldn't be able to do the work that we are doing at the moment. We're running four feeding centers. Each feeding center caters for 40 people, sometimes 50, of which normally it's about 20 children and 30 grannies and grandpas. Every day they get fed a plate of porridge, which is lupuni pala, full of vitamins, and they have a cup of tea. Whenever we have extra money, we also buy them churundus, which is the cloth that they wear around them. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the feeding centers. Um, we basically only provide the plastic for the roofing, as I like the whole community to get involved and also to do their bit for the underprivileged. Basically, what I do is um, I work with the chief, and he provides me with a chairman and three committee members. Um, and between them, they choose who are the most needy in the village. At the moment, we are providing one meal a day, which is lakuni parlor. It's made of um, maize meal, full of vitamins, um, and they add ground nuts, um, soya beans, and um, the people seem to thrive on it, as you can see. We basically feed the old people who have no children alive, and also the children under the age of five who the grannies are looking after. They're looking after them because their children have passed away, mainly the um, malaria and AIDS. The reason why these people are so desperate is because AIDS is the biggest killer in Malawi. And some of these grannies actually look after between 5 to 15 children. And as you can see, they are old, old people. They just cannot manage to work in the gardens like they used to. And when they do plant the maize, half the time they haven't got fertilizers, so the yields are so low that they might get about three 50 kg bags for the year. And in a normal family, that would only last for three months. So they have to make it stretch. And I know that they appreciate this one meal a day so much because it gives them the strength to go and work in their little gardens for their children. Between the four feeding centers that I have running at the moment, I feed 180 people a day. And that to me is only a drop in the ocean. There are thousands more out there that I would love to help. So I'm asking you all, please, to consider us and your funding would be so appreciated by these people. They, the Malawians are just such wonderful, wonderful people. I can only continue with my work as long as I have people like you there to back me. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all and I'd like to say a very big thank you to all of you from the warm heart of Africa.